Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you a new add-on that I've been working on that's going to be available via my Gumroad and my Patreon pages. I'll show you how this add-on can help reduce the amount of steps it takes to add an IK constraint or a Track 2 constraint and a few others. In fact, I'll show you that you'll be able to do it in two steps instead of 12. So let's jump into it. So here's a basic setup. We've got a couple of arms that we need to add IK constraints to. We're in pose mode. Our 3D cursor isn't necessarily selected on anything. First, I'd need to go into edit mode, choose the end of the bone where I want to add my new bone, hit shift S and say cursor to selected. Then do shift A to add a new bone, go back into pose mode, select my new bone and the end of my IK chain, hit shift I and say add IK to active bone. Then I would go to my Bone Constraints Properties tab and set my chain length to 2. That will give me a basic IK constraint on the left arm. I wanted to do this process a whole lot faster, so that's what this add-on is basically made to do. I'll deselect everything and put my 3D cursor back where it was before. So now I can show you, starting from the same point, what using this add-on looks like. So first, we'll select the end bone in Pose Mode. You can get to the add-on either through the Pose menu, Add Bone Target, or you can use the Search menu and search for Add Bone Target. And it's done. I'll undo this operation and show you some of the other options. The first thing we have is what kind of constraint we want to add. This particular add-on lets you add an IK target, a Track 2 target, a Stretch 2 target, a damped track target, or a locked track target. If you're adding an IK target, you can set the chain length. For a track 2 constraint, you have the up axis and the track axis. And for a locked track constraint, you have the lock axis. You also have what length you want the new bone to be. I'm going to add one of the basic rigs from the Rigify add-on. And we'll choose the basic human. Going into pose mode, I'll choose the end of an arm. And then I'll run the add-on. Now before doing anything else, I'll make sure my settings are where I want them. I've got IK target, that looks good for a bone length, and I want a chain length of 2. I'll choose the other arm and hit Shift R. I'll choose the lower leg and hit Shift R, and the other lower leg and hit Shift R. And there, in a matter of seconds, I've added IK targets to all four limbs. This is another type of setup where this add-on can be really helpful. Here I've got a series of bones that are going to control the shape of a mouth. However, instead of rotating these bones, I want them each to have a track to target so that I can hide the bones that are actually doing the deformations. Again, I would have to go to each bone, add a bone to the end of it, add a track to constraint, And now this target bone controls the pose bone. Of course, again, that is a lot of steps. So with the add-on, I can simply select a bone, add bone target, change the type to track to, make sure my track axis is Y and my up axis is Z, and I'll shrink the bone size down. Now I can simply go to each bone and press Shift R. So I can parent this object to this armature get the result I'm looking for. Of course, I'd probably want to add a custom bone shape for these. Then I could take all the middle bones and put them on another layer. leaving me with just my target bones. If you're doing a lot of rigging, I think this add-on could be a huge time saver. This script will be available on my Gumroad page, and it'll be available via my Patreon page. Speaking of Patreon, before we finish, I just want to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me. So if you pick up the add-on, I hope it helps you make something awesome. And until next time, I'll catch you later.